We're here on the Delivering Happiness bus at South by Southwest. We're talking to the creator of Silicon Prairie News and Big Omaha. They're two, a big event and a, a great news source. And we just actually wanted to talk to you a little bit about what you do and what inspires you as we are on the Happiness bus after all. So um, actually, Jeff, could you just tell us, like, first off, you know, what's your day to day in general? Sure. Uh, di- wow. Daily basis kind of depends on the day of the week, yeah. I think, as well. But uh, you know, for us, we're always trying to highlight and kind of promote entrepreneurs and yeah. startups on the on the prairie. Yeah. Um, and so it's you know ranges from uh, getting news tips to planning events and uh, you know thinking of new ways to kind of cultivate and build that community. But always always fun each day is something new. So what what drives you to do what you do today, day to day? Yeah, I think um, for me, it's seeing people excited uh, and just in the mode in the zone. You know that uh, there's others like them. Uh, in the Midwest, you know, so a lot of times we uh, we work with entrepreneurs and startups um, locally, but then with Big Omaha, we bring in speakers from the coast, kind of give us a kick in the pants and follow your passion and, and to see through the stories and the highlighting of those entrepreneurs that are based locally as well as events like Big Omaha, you know, seeing people really like a renewed sense of passion and the ownership for what they do is it keeps keeps me going and keeps our team going. The type of people that inspire me are those that um, you know, going back to kind of that are in the mode, that are in the zone, that are so confident in what they're doing, you know, it's not an ego thing, it's just they're they're really excited about what they're involved in, right? And they're just heads down passionate about that. Uh, and that rubs off on me, and I see that, you know, and it kind of keeps me going as well. It's crazy seeing all these, like, different iterations and versions of, of, of the real-time, you know, check-in, right? Um, just what's next, you know, now it's planning ahead, future check-ins. And so I'm just I'm just fascinated by that whole kind of niche right in terms of where that goes i think it's i think it's going to get crazier in a good way in terms of you know and, and some of this is already out there you're walking down the street and based upon recent history of where you check in or what you say you enjoy or what you like that you know coupons are automatically delivered you know to your to your cell phone or you know you're walking by and uh, the social graph can essentially determine that, hey, Frank Gruber and Jeff Slavatsky have got a great relationship. You you should stop in. It's not just one of a thousand people that are at this location, but, you know, here's a guy that you communicate with on a, a weekly basis. And so, really, I, I think I think it's pretty exciting, pretty kind of crazy in terms of what's going to what's gonna come next. Can you share um, some of the, the maybe advice for entrepreneurs that you, you talk to that are looking to start up? Yeah, I think um, maybe a couple, couple of things that came to mind. You know, get a, get a really good core team uh, uh, around you, and not only just your staff, but some men- mentors, some advisors. Uh, and that again, that sounds you know we've all read that before, but I think that's so true. That's so pivotal. Get somebody that you have a true you know heart to heart kind of core bond with um, that that's going to steer the ship in the right direction. Pivoting's good, like innovation is good, but at your core, like as an entrepreneur, what you're trying to do, I think it's key to like stick true to that, right? Like, and don't don't just listen to all the all the comments that are out there. Um, hey, you should do this, you should do that, you should you should look at this. I mean, be aware of those, but also be kind of confident in what you're building and what you're doing as an entrepreneur. And like, if you think you're on the right track and that core team is with you as well, then I say, you know, continue on, continue on the course.